Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This yarn is called Drop Soft Tweed. This 50% merino, 25% alpaca, 25% viscose yarn features 18 colors. The colorway we chose is 04 Cookie Dough, a warm beige. This 50 gram skein with 130 meters or 142 yards works up as a DK weight yarn. In today's video, we're going to review and score Drop Soft Tweed using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Soft Tweed a score of 2.5 out of 5. Currently, this yarn is not available in shops in the United States, but they do have a few colors on Amazon. However, I purchased and shipped mine from the United Kingdom and was very satisfied with how easy it was to order my yarn and have it shipped to me here in the United States. For softness, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. Let's go through some of the fiber contents of this yarn, starting with merino. Soft Tweed has a 50% merino wool content, which is recognized as one of the softest wools to work with. It is a very fine fiber and can't be prickly like other wools are because merino can't stand up to the weight of itself. If you've watched any of our other merino yarn reviews, merino is a great option for someone like me with sensitive skin. It also has a 25% alpaca content. Alpaca yarn is known for being durable, soft, lightweight, and hypoallergenic. Its fibers are similar in size to merino, but they're mostly hollow, whereas sheep's wool have pockets of air. Lastly is a 25% viscose content. If you've watched our semi-synthetic fibers video, that explains viscose in more detail. It's made with regenerated cellulose from bamboo. In this case, it's the tweed flex you see throughout the yarn. So from a factual standpoint, I thought this would be a great soft yarn to work with. However, I was a little disappointed in its softness. From the skein, I found this yarn to feel more dry and rustic or rough than I was expecting. Because of this, I had to take breaks from knitting with it and initially it wasn't super enjoyable. But as this is just my opinion, take this with a grain of salt. My hands did get used to the yarn over time, and it was significantly softer after blocking, which gave this yarn a higher score. So working with it wasn't my favorite, but after blocking, it was much nicer. For traction, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. The construction or spin of this yarn didn't give me much worry. I really loved that the tweed flex were spun into the yarn, and they felt really secure. The yarn isn't a higher twist yarn, making it more prone to breakage, so I found myself knitting with caution. I didn't notice the yarn getting stuck together or slowing me down, it was mostly in my head just telling me to be careful. However, it knitted fairly smoothly on my nickel plated needles and would probably do well with bamboo too. For durability, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. Because merino wool is more fine, it's a little delicate on its own. Added with a merino fiber, alpaca is durable and more resistant to wear and tear due to its natural elasticity. However, because this yarn is spun looser and it only being a two-ply, the yarn itself is more delicate. So I recommend being cautious and taking extra care not to pull super tight on this yarn if you're wanting to knit a garment with it. For cost, we give it a score of 5 out of 5. For being a 50 gram skein, you can expect to pay around $4 US per skein, depending on the conversion rate from the British pound. Meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $32 US. I don't think I could pay $32 at Target for an acrylic or a polyester sweater. So for me, that price for a yarn to make a merino and alpaca sweater is a steal. Although it's mostly available in the United Kingdom, even with shipping from the US, this is absolutely a budget-friendly yarn to work with. 
Overall, we give Soft Tweed a score of 3.8 out of 5. I was a little underwhelmed when knitting with this yarn, but I was very happy to find that it softens after blocking. I really enjoy how subtle and strong the tweed flecks are throughout the yarn and my swatch. I think the colors blend really well together, and I'm overall so drawn to the autumnal shades that this yarn line features. Have you used Drop Soft Tweed yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.